The deaths of teenagers Amanda Todd and Retea Parsons shone a light on the sinister side of the digital era, revealing just how easily hurtful images can be passed around and then the relentless bullying that can take place. Plus, it revealed the legal loopholes that make it so hard to stop. Today, the federal government is taking action, unveiling a plan to modernize the laws that make cyber harassment a crime. Let's begin this hour in Ottawa, where Hannah Thibodeau is on the story for us. Hannah, do we have any advance information about what's going to be announced this afternoon? Well, we do, and the reason for that is the federal government has been indicating it was going to introduce a new cyberbullying law for quite some time now, and in fact, it did say it would do so in the throne speech as well. So what we know is this new legislation will, in fact, change the criminal code uh, to make an offense to distribute images uh, without the permission of the person. So that includes, as well, new penalties for anyone found guilty of doing so, so putting these sexual explicit images out there without that person's permission. So also a penalty for someone found guilty of doing that. And yesterday, Justice Minister Peter McKay gave, about, gave a few details of what could be in this. The government recognizes that bullying and cyberbullying are serious concerns for many Canadian families and communities. And our government is committed to doing everything it can to protect our children and our youth from its serious and debilitating effects. Now, the cyberbullying issue has definitely been in the headlines for the past year because of those two cases you were talking about uh, in the introduction there. The, it, there was the Nova Scotia teen, uh, the family of that young girl, her name was Retea Parsons. They say that she was mocked and her photos of her allegedly being sexually assaulted put online and she took her own life, committed suicide in the spring. She was only 17 years old. And then there's the tragic case of a 15-year-old girl from uh, Vancouver who, uh, her name was Amanda Todd. She also took her own life after posting a YouTube video just talking about the harassment she had endured for years. And you can see that video there. The families of those two young women spoke about what they want to see in this legislation. We've got to get our internet service providers on board. So a police officer comes to them and says, who owns this IP address? What is the address of their house? We need to get there right away. Uh, that it doesn't take months of legal wrangling to do something like that. This response should be instant. The more eyes on our children, the safer they can be. So it takes the whole village to, to make sure that our kids are safe. So you can hear there from the families that they have been indicating they have wanted something like this since the death of their children. And we will get the full details from Justice Minister Peter McKay a little bit later this afternoon.